The mighty Thor at the gates of Valhalla issue 1 sees Thor's granddaughters Frigg, Elisiv and Atli acting as the goddesses of thunder and protecting the realms in the future. On top of that they have also drugged their grandfather and head out on a time spanning adventure thanks to them taking some of Asgard's time diamonds. Using them they travel to the golden age of Thor, teleported to the Viking Age. It's here they deal with some trolls and they find Thor, who at this age can't lift Mjolnir all the way up yet. From there they visit many different timelines, from the 26th century to the ancient era millions of years ago where they run into the Avengers BC team. When they head back to their time however, they go to the future, which includes an old Thor fighting a black demon looking Loki. Before the girls can disrupt this timeline, they are sent to the 21st century, New York specifically. It's here they meet Jane Foster whom they immediately recognise and fangirl over. Jane tells them that she's been walking around her hospital for the last hour, not having the courage to go inside and continue her cancer treatment. The girls tell her she will and she will use the same courage that she used to fight Magog and she will deal with it like how she fought Magog. These words bring Jane to tears and she asks the girls for one final favour, to fly with a hammer one last time. The girls return home and reminisce on Jane and even the trolls they fought in their journey. They wish they could have told her about the coming War of Realms, but Frigg reminds the others that they can't tamper with the timeline like that, especially given the integral role Jane will have in the War of the Realms. Across the realms, Malekith begins his reign of terror by using the Black Bifrost to deliver his armies to all the different realms, killing dwarves, giants and the dead alike. Eventually he meets with Dario Agar, the CEO of Roxxon, who is also helping Malekith clean up Vanaheim. Dario hopes the Dark Elf's plan to deal with Thor will end her once and for all, and Malekith reassures him that it will, but for now they will just deal with the old gods. As he shores up the other realms, Asgardia explodes and Jane is relieved of her Thor role and taken to Valhalla before returning to life. During this time, Malekith watches over her in a ghostly form, thinking she is on her way to Valhalla for good. In the present, Malekith continues watching Jane, amazed at the arrogance of mortals like Jane, as the War of Realms is coming for all mortals and Jane would have been better staying dead. The Mighty Thor at the Gates of Valhalla issue 1 was the perfect jumping on point for new readers and readers like me who kind of fell behind with Thor and had to catch up uh, before the new issue 1. I really enjoyed the setup to the coming War of Realms, as well as the tease of how Jane Foster ties into it, despite right now she doesn't have any powers or even Mjolnir, though it's hinted at by Thor's granddaughters that she might still have a little bit of thunder left in her. I'm very excited to get back into Thor and this is the perfect place to start for anyone. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.